The bad sport himself. If you're here in sabotage, then you're living a Paddy Flanagan. And nobody wants to do that. The man with a very, very big chip on his shoulder. The man who's got a point to prove. But not doing a very good job of proving that point. Well, a win here will certainly boost him up the rankings, and he can really do with that right now. Last time he saw her, last time we saw him, he was chastising everybody, the fans, uh, Delson Dare, who was he actually gate crashed the last few moments of Delson Dare's match against Nicky Starr. And speaking of Nicky Starr, which is why that we're going to have these two men face off against each other. What is he wearing? Get the hell out of here. Nicky Starr likes to have fun. He's He's come ready for bed! Well, his choice of attire is a little bit unusual, I'll give you that. Some would say he's electrifying. Hey, how do you get, uh, how do you get Nicky Star on a bus? You know what, I'm going to let you have this one. Go on, how do you get Nicky Star on a bus? Pokemon. Uh-huh. I look that joke up. Right. Oh, that, that wasn't a punchline. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I can see why Paddy Flanagan feels really annoyed. No, Paddy Flanagan feels that he is underappreciated. Taking it out on Nicky Star and taking it out on the people that pay good money to watch these shows is not the way to go about it. He if does he wants to be appreciated, then do something to make us appreciate him. I'll tell you what, he does, right? He's had his confidence knocked. He felt so bad the other day. He said to his mom, he said, Mom, I'm feeling really fat. Can you say something nice about me? And his mom said, Well, your eyesight's spot on. Comedy hour here at Almost Pro Wrestling. But do not let the comical attire of Nicky Starr fool you. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. Both very very good wrestlers. Well, that's the thing, they are. They both have a lot of excellent attributes. However, neither one of them seems to be able to get it done. I mean, as you say, Nicky Starr last time he was in action against Deslin Day, lost that match. Paddy thought he would uh, have a little laugh at his expense. Well, I'll tell you what, he's got to back it up now. Oh, just getting slammed in the corner by the much bigger bad sport. Series of really, really strong blows to the, the chest, to the stomach of Nicky Starr, throwing him into the corner. Now which one of these do you think is the stronger man? I'm not going to justify that one with an answer. Uh -huh. Oh, this is a foreign object, referee! Surely this is going to be a disqualification, stop him! Oh, straight to the poker balls. I think the referee doesn't really care. That would explain where they've disappeared to. Got him right in the Snorlax. Forearm shots against the jaw of Paddy Flanagan, reversing it, turning it around on him. Is that the pet name you've got for your bits? Mine. No, no, that's Squirtle. Now, corner to corner they go. Paddy Flanagan over the top rope. Oh, but sent down, crashing to the floor from the ring apron to the floor and that's the hard wooden floor outside of the ring and I can see Greenpeace coming ring. over here just to throw buckets of water over him and we can get him back Paddy really needs to, to up his game here it's all very well saying that he, he's got all of these problems that he's underappreciated blah 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 he's really got to back it up and it's time that he started in the winning ways why would Greenpeace be coming over to throw buckets of water Seriously. So you ask a grown up to Google the answers for you after the show. You were making some kind of reference to the WWE. The um, original WWF, of course. 
No, we won't be hitting pandas with chairs here, but I'll tell you what, on the outside, Paddy Flanagan could be hitting Nicky Starr with absolutely anything. And Nicky Starr came crashing face first down from the, uh, onto the ring apron and then down to the floor. A lot of this is taking place outside of the ring. Neither men have broken the count just yet. I'll tell you what, it's interesting. I've just noticed that uh, Nicky Starr's got on one of those G.O.D. T-shirts. G.O.D. of course is Generation of Destruction, which is oh, another name of uh, Marvelous, which is Assassin and Lucas Marvel. So, I mean, I've seen him hanging around them, and I know he's a bit of a fanboy, and he certainly admires them. Maybe it's just a tribute to them, but it's, it's interesting to know. Maybe it is just a tribute. Maybe we shouldn't make too much of it, but it is a... I mean, bless me, he probably hasn't got a lot of T-shirts. Oh, but he's got plenty of onesies. Oh! He's got a lot big of right hand to the there face. by Paddy Flanagan sending Nicky Starr to the ground. He was turning off the stage at the time. That's it. Nicky Starr went for quick attack, but he's faded. That's the problem with Paddy Flanagan. You, you can throw as many quick attacks at him as you want, but he can very quickly turn it around on you. Well, he tried to work him in, but unfortunately the fans there protecting Nicky Starr, so ends up just putting him into a chair. And if Lanagan will find himself fine, suspended, and possibly fired if he injures anybody who is in the crowd, just knowing he does so as well, so no wonder he changed his mind at the very last second. I think that's probably a very fair point. Going for the pin for cover, however, and not quite getting the three. Barely getting the two. There's still plenty of fight in Starr. He's drawn up against the second rope here. Kenny Flanagan bringing all of his weight down across the, across the back. Leaning into the rope. The throat of Nicky Starr, who's had all of the air driven out of him. And I don't care how much of a, a mover you are, how fast you claim to be. If you can't breathe, you're not going anywhere. No, especially when you're lying on your back like that. You're just prone for the likes of the bad sport. The difference between a sprinter and a long distance runner, a sprinter holds his breath and a long distance runner breathes at the right time. We've got to find very similar styles here. Paddy Flanagan taking his time, controlling the match. Nicky Starr likes to fire off bursts, likes to come in very quick. Are you a sprinter? Shame. Maybe another life. Oh, wheelbarrow, but no. Not quite finding it, though. Instead, finding a clothesline. Hook of the leg. And he just powered through Nicky Starr with that. Now Paddy Flanagan is the bigger of the two men, so it does take a lot of effort for, for Nicky Starr to kick out, especially when all of Paddy Flanagan's weight is being brought down across the chest in the upper body area, right where the shoulders are. However, he has just laid his hand on the referee, the referee who has already told, who already warned him enough times in this match to play by the rules. Well, it seems that Craig Burt is quite happy with this so far. Paddy Flanagan can, can flaunt the rules all he wants and he can go on about being as underappreciated and undervalued as he likes. If he can't wrestle here, then no one's going to care whether or not he's valued at all. Well, I think he cares. And the thing is, we have seen that he can actually wrestle. And he's proven it right now. The guy can wrestle and he can brawl. We know he can do those things, but it's probably a little bit better if he plays by the rules as he's doing it gets to the main part of the company it's all legal if the referee doesn't see it or if he lets you get away with it yeah, maybe there's a little bit of leniency there after Nicky Starr threw his poker ball in exactly turnabout's fair play Ended up with a swinging net breaker. It looked like it really hung Nicky Starr inside out there for a moment. Paddy Flanagan. Very lazy cover there by Flanagan. Oh, he got it, but he paid for it with a kick to the face. He's trying to get to his feet. He's got to be woozy. Oh, he's going for that wheelbarrow move again. again. But again, not finding anything. However, quickly turns around on the ring apron. Another kick to the face. Nicky Starr on his way back into the ring. Oh, this is interesting. 
springboard cross by the oh. second row. Oh. 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 Slam as a counter by Paddy Flanagan. Who mm. turns it around quickly, straight into the cover, a proper cover this time, but not quite finding the three count that he thought it would do. Yeah, not quick enough. If he floated over, he might have got that. And the extra weight bearing down on Nicky Starr, that could have been the end. Oh! Leg drop across the back again, with a lot of attention being played across the back and the front of the upper body area. But again, not quite finding the three count. He's clawing now at the face. Definitely utilising the count. Yep, he's explained the rule yet again, but I'm sure Paddy is very aware that he has that five count because he has utilised it so well throughout this entire match. If he was a wrestler who wanted to be respected, he would have let go at one. He's a wrestler who wants to win. Respect is, it, is something that comes along as you go, but you've got to win first. Shut up the ropes, Irish whip. Chop block. And drop kick. And now, big forearm smash, flying forearm. It's Paddy Flanagan is caught in the corner. Being fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Are we going to see a tenth right hand? Yep. I've got to say, you've surprised me. I didn't think you could count that high. That's okay, I didn't think you could talk. And now, Snapmare. Paddy is thrown, set in position, finds a boot to the face, goes across the chest, and now a pin attempt. I must admit, probably not the strongest pin that Nicky Starr could have attempted, as Paddy Flanagan very easily kicks out the two. And maybe they're just the reaction is just a little bit delayed. Again, going for that wheelbarrow. Minus the pin this time. A double stomp. Nicky Starr without the victory at this point. might be trying to get the fans there on his side but the thing is he's, he's gonna have to stay on top ah she's regrouping but unfortunately spent too long regrouping he did that's the inexperience of nicky star perhaps oh shoulder oh wow shoulder block and charging into paddy and that's not an ideal thing to do i mean look at the bulk and the size of paddy flanagan cartwheel sent Nicky Starr into a backward spin. And once again, both men are now down. Both men both got the, the, to the count of 10 to the back of the feet. If one or both make it so, the count will break. Oh, he's tapping. Surely that's got to be a tap out. The referee's not counting that, surely. He's not tapping out from the submission. He is just getting himself back to his feet. Willing the audience to help him back into this match by feeding up their energy and back into this match. Both men are right, then a right, then a right from both men. Back and forth. Now Nicky Starr's got the advantage. Going for another. Going for the wrecking ball. Misses it. Makes Paddy Flanagan eat a back elbow instead. And it looks like he is coming off the second rope. Tornado. DDT springboard off the second rope. And now he again doesn't so find the three count. See, I would say that the longer this match goes on, it's got to favour Nicky Starr. Nicky Starr is more in condition with all respect to Flanagan. When you're carrying that sort of weight around, however useful it can be. Oh. But that's the thing. Nicky, Nicky Starr likes to, likes to come at you in quick attack. With Panny Flanagan, he likes to take his time. Waiting for the right moment to strike, and that might have been the right moment to strike. And I'll tell you what, both these guys clearly realise that a win here will just boost them off the bottom of the, the rankings here at Shield Pro. To the five finals, Mark, and now Nicky Starr is back in control. Huge sent onto the back. Now I'm wondering what he has to do to put the big guy away. Well, he's thinking that himself. He's wondering what else has he got in that? Back to the ropes, playing with his. 
finding the side of the, the stomach, driving all of the air out of him, sending him to the bottom. Of the oh! More like a car wreck as far as I was concerned, but so close. I'm not entirely sure how he managed to kick out of that. That that was a sickening thud. Paddy is absolutely adamant that it's three. The referee is saying it's two. He's got to That's be very not really going to get him anywhere. He's yeah. very careful not to get himself disqualified. Leaves a hand on the referee one more time. All the referee's got to do is say, ring the bell. Yeah. Oh! oh. Big Star reverses that power driver. Has he? He's got it! He's got it! Big Star turning things around. At the very last second, stealing the victory, some would say. I think he earned it. Well, he did capitalise on it, but I'll tell you what, oh. Paddy Flanagan is not happy. He is absolutely foaming. Now he's attacked the referee again. There's a fine. Yeah. Away. There will be absolute repercussions for this. You can see that. You can get as annoyed about it all you want. You lost the match. Leave. Well, Paddy Flanagan still in the ring. Having words with the referee. No, the referee's not going to change his mind because you couldn't kick out the three. And now he's, co oh, he's coming over here. Maybe he's heard what was what? said. No. Hey, well, I thought that. I thought that, but the referee... I don't remember you winning the match. So uh, Paddy Flanagan, you, you either won the match or you lost the match, and I don't think you won the match. Hey, you're saying that very bravely because I won't say it while he's standing right in front of me. I'm not going to protect hey, you. Hey, lay a hand on me and he's going to find himself out of a job. I tell you what, there's a lot of bad feeling between these two. Look, I'm sorry. He can go around blaming everybody else all he likes. He can go and kick as many chairs as he likes. At the end of the day, if you want to be appreciated, win some matches. If you want to feel valued, stop taking your losses out on everybody else.